Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Gerslin and today I've just done a holiday makeup look and this is an easy holiday makeup look because it was fairly easy and um, I told you how I do everything step by step and the eyes weren't actually my favorite but I, after I added the look, I meant the lip and everything, everything looks good together. So this is an easy holiday makeup look. I'll be doing another holiday makeup look on my channel, including a red lip because I feel like a red lip is so holiday related, especially Christmas. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're wondering why I had some curled and some straight, and I was trying to decide what I want to do with my hair for the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, to start off, I'm gonna be using this to hydrate my face. It's actually not mine, I don't know whose it is, it was just in my room, so it's me. And I'm gonna push it under that skin. Why don't we just add a little extra? I'm gonna go with the pearlescence coconut rose. Woo! Head and start off with my foundation today, since the eyes aren't gonna be super heavy. And I'm gonna be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. You're gonna have to ignore my hands. My ex was fired up today, but. I'm going to be mixing this with my LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. And this is the white one. I'm asking for a bunch of makeup for Christmas so I can try to do a full face when I got for Christmas. But that's later down the road. This is my summer shade. I'm going to be mixing it with this white base to lighten it. And if you want to save some money, this is a good trick. So... This is about five dollars, six dollars, I think. It's about forty something dollars. Okay, so take. I honestly don't know. How, and I'm almost out of this foundation too, because it was my liner dye. I'm not using a primer other than those sprays today, because I don't feel like it. And then I, I think that's good. And then I'm gonna take my finger and warm them up together. The good thing about the white base is it really doesn't change the formula of the foundation you mix it with most of the time. Whoa, that's yellow. And I just got it in my eye. I'm a mess. Okay, let's add a little bit more. So, got it mixed up and I'm just going to put it on my face. This foundation, which I've wore many times on my channel, is dewy nice dewy full coverage foundation lasts a long time but the reason i quit wearing it is because one it got too dark and i forgot i had this and two during the day at school i get oily and it's not like in the summer i don't stop some people might but i don't stop to touch up my foundation when i'm at school so i don't I want a foundation i ain't gonna mess with through school so that's why i don't wear this for school <laughs> much And my, one of my favorite things about this foundation is you don't have to work too quick with it because it doesn't dry too quick. So, it's good. And if you know me, you know I'm super slow when it comes to makeup. So, it's a good thing for me. I blend this all down my neck even though this is, I thought this was too yellow. But once I got it, like, actually on my neck. It matches my neck like really, really good. I did the perfect amount of white. You done something right, Graceland. Yay! Okay, so the concealer I'm going to be using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Light Ivory. I swear I have I have like five or six of these because when I do people's makeup, these are the concealers I use on them. Uh, yep. 
darker than my foundation. I have a lighter shade than this. So I found my right foundation. This is the same right foundation, right shade. This is the same concealer in this shade, porcelain. I usually don't use this much concealer, but since it's for the holidays and you're probably going to be taking pictures and this is a little bit of a glam look we're going to use a little extra today again taking my sponge to blend this out this concealer blends so good and it's really good coverage and it's a really good price. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cream contouring. Which I don't do that much on my channel. But I actually really do like cream contouring a lot. The things I usually use to cream contour is the NYX Wonder Stick. It has like a lighter shade on one end. And then a dark contour on the other. And I also like using this. The name's right off. But it's a wet and wild little chubby contour stick. Looks like this. And what I like to usually do is I like to take a brush. This is a crown brush. It's a dual fiber brush. Little stippling brush. And um, I like to use this to blend out my cream contour and apply it. I don't want to go in straight with a stick straight onto my face because I feel like it takes off from your foundation. And it's harder to blend. I like to build it up with a brush or sponge and don't worry because I'm going to blend this out further I'm really just applying it right as of right now okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush but I have a little trick I left some foundation on my hand this is how I like to get a seamless cream bronzer slash contour. I like to take a little bit of my foundation and I like to help me, that helps me blend this product out. And then what I like to do is I like to go on with my sponge and blend out the edges. I think cream bronzing looks super good. I especially think it looks good. I don't really have a problem with this. I have kind of normal skin. But if you have really dry skin and powders just don't work well with your skin most powders then I recommend cream contouring because it looks way better so that's all the cream bronze blended on my cheeks and now I'm gonna take a tiny when I say tiny I mean tiny but not even a really contour just to even out my face a little bit because I think it looks weird like when you don't have anything in the center a little darkened. Put some on the side of my nose and with that brush and then blend it out with my sponge. Just like that. And then we're gonna go in with some powder. So I'm gonna blend up these creases. And then I'm gonna take that little extra from the creasing and take it underneath my bronzer to clean it up. Okay, so the powders I'm going to be using, yes, I'm going to be using powders for my under eyes. I'm going to be going in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder, which I don't really like this powder, if you want me to be honest. Um, it makes my skin itch, and I don't recommend using something if it bothers your face or it makes you, your skin feel uncomfortable. But I'm just used to it, so I'll do it anyway. Don't do that. Um, and it also smells really bad to me. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna make sure those have no creases, and then I'm gonna be setting them in on my face with this powder.
So we're gonna let that powder melt a little. And while it is, I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. And I've talked about this before in one of my favorites videos. I really, really like this product, but I don't like the top. So I just put some of this in the top of my air spun lid. And then I take this big elf kabuki brush. Like I've had this forever. If you can't tell, it's like coming. The black part is coming off. I'm going to take a little bit of this powder, not too much. Remember, it's winter. The air is drier. We want our skin to be matte. Well, I do. I want my skin to be matte and set, but I don't want it to be dry and crusty. So, and that's easier to. It's easier for that to happen in winter because, you know, it's cold and dry. So, I'm just lightly tapping over these areas where I bronze because I want to be able to blend out my bronzer well on top. I don't want it to be patchy and I'm also blending away or patting the parts where I added the air spun in. this Kat Von D light blotting powder it looks like this and I want my eyes to look super flawless so I'm going to take this and uh, uh, pat this on my under eyes I like using pressed powders on my eyelids to set my eyelids, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more powder bronzer on top, um, because I'm extra, and this is a glam look. Remember, like I said before, you're gonna be taking pictures, so you want everything to look super good. I'm gonna be going in with this Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. The packaging looks like this, and here's the color and the product. So I just take that and I just add that on top of where I cream bronzed. Because I'm filming with my phone, y'all, today. I got a new phone. I don't know if the quality is different. Y'all can tell me. But I am using my front camera so I can see what I'm doing. I'm goofy. <laughs> But, like, once I get at my dad's, I'll use my camera. Don't worry. So, that's what the bronzing looks like. The blush I'm going to be using today is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. Looks like this in the shade Satin Coral. It's a really nice pinky coral color. So, I swirl my brush in there. This is the Elf Flawless Face Brush. And I just... Brush it back. For some reason, I've been wearing a lot more blush lately. I don't know. I am going to go ahead and blend these two things together. I did not forget to do my eyebrows. I just didn't want to do them first today. I didn't feel like it. Sometimes I just not in that mood. But for my brows, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Brow Box in the shade Brown Sugar. I'm not going to do two extreme brows today. Just because I'm not feeling it. So. Now I'm going to be going in with some eyeshadow. And I'm going to be doing a pretty, I mean, natural eyeshadow look today i'm going to be using the morphe jaclyn hill palette and this is the don't know what it's called i don't have the name on it it's the purple one i'm not going to be doing that crazy eyeshadow today too much eyeshadow i'm just going to keep a nice light eye i'm going to go in with the shade hush hush which is a light purple and i'm going to blend this into my crease Just blended that into the crease, kind of look dead. 
I'm going to go in with the shade Rockstar, which is a purplish red. I'm going to blend this out into my crease as well. It's kind of like a first impressions for this palette. So far it's going okay. It's not blending as nicely as I want it to. It's kind of blending patchy. Yeah, a little patchy. But keep in mind I'm I'm also using a lot of amounts of these shades. Like barely tapping in. So they're pretty pigmented, but if it goes patchy with the little amount I'm using, I hate to say it lot of product but whatever I'm gonna take this small blending brush in the shade hush hush and try to blend out the edges further like that my other chin. and then I'm going to take the shade mystic which is a dark purplish brown and I'm going to take this on my outer corner. A lot of these shades aren't too crazy pigmented. I mean, they're pigmented, but they're not like crazy pigmented. Okay, so I got all that blended as good as I could. And I'm going to go in with the shade Bling Bling first. It's like a kind of a pinkish, purplish shimmer. I've not watched any tutorials on these palettes. So... This is strictly my own opinion. And uh, it's not the best, honestly. I mean, this palette's only $15, but it's Jaclyn Hill they're collaborating with. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Ballsy, which is a little bit darker than Bling Bling. And I'm gonna put that closer to the outside corner. I guess I just expected this to be a little better. I'm gonna go on the shade Hush Hush, mixed with a little bit of Rockstar again. Uh, whoa, use a lot of Rockstar. Take this on my lower lash line with, I'm gonna take a little bit extra of Hush Hush and blend it out. So, let's have a closer look at the eyeshadow. I honestly tried, you guys. Like, I tried to blend this. I guess I can try a little bit more. Because people are going to be saying I didn't try. This has nothing but hush hush on it. I'm blending out this part right here. Not blending. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and dust off this fake. I do not recommend buying those palettes. Maybe the other ones are better than the purple one, but I don't know. I definitely don't recommend buying the purple one. So that's the tea. Um, we're gonna go ahead and highlight my face, and let me just go ahead and say. Um, if you're going to, if you're actually going to a Christmas party or a holiday party and you want your makeup to stay all freaking night and day long, use this Scandinavia, the makeup setting spray, and it's the bridal one. I use this when I do people's makeup, and I also do use this if I want my makeup to stay a super long time, and it does. So, use that, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use this Coconut Rose Face Mist. And now I'm going to go in with highlight. 
The highlight I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese Highlighter in honor of them reselling it. Oh, bringing it back and reselling it. I'm going to go ahead and dip into this using this highlighting brush. A little heavy handed, Grace. I'm going to go in and blend out with my sponge. And then I'm going to take this on my nose with my finger. Cupid's bow your corner of my eye. Maybe it'll add a little pizzazz to that since we don't have any right now. Okay, so I can't find my eyelash curler, but the mascara I'm going to be going in with is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. It makes my lashes super big. Okay, so that's the mascara. And honestly, my skin looks super... Right there, but my skin looks super good. My eyes are... After we put mascara... It, they look okay. Not blended the best, but... It's, it's okay, it's okay. So, now I'm gonna wipe off my lip balm. And do my lipstick okay so for lipstick i kind of do like a natural pink so i'm going to be using this nyx pro lip cream palette in the shade of the pinks and i'm just going to mix a color using a little bit of that shade that shade that shade I'm gonna leave this lip matte because I'm always trying to add some gloss and I want to switch it up a little bit. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoy this look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and press that bell so you'll be notified every time I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!